honor means so much to me that as I've had a chance to serve uh, not only um, at various levels in the community, but I've recognized that everyone's got a significance upon their life. And honor to me is celebrating who a person is, not what they're not. It's not about being the best, it's about giving your best. And you get an opportunity to say thank you and to give honor uh, in four major events. Thinking about the Emerald Coast Honor Games is, a, is just an opportunity to give back on many levels for me. A privilege for me to be able to honor these people and their service and their sacrifice and what they've already done. So as far as our competition goes within the Emerald Coast Honor Games, we're looking for 122 person teams, either two males or two females, 120 teams, there's 240 athletes. This is a great opportunity to show your support for our special forces in our area, our Air Force Special Ops, and so many other organizations, including our Sheriff's First Responders groups. One event is going to be right here on, the, on this track in the field. One is going to be behind us uh, on the beach behind Lulu's. One's going to be in the parking lot area with a big rig pull-ups, box jumps, all kinds of fun stuff. And then one event is actually going to be super excited about it. It's going to be underneath the world's largest flag, which is where our lifting event's going to be. You know, what this event means to me is really, uh, it's a display of a community surrounding around the word honor. There's so many competitions to choose from, but this competition is different. It gives you the opportunity not to just say thank you for your service, but to put those words into action. Have a kid zone, have music, uh, lots of food, all kinds of fun for everybody. So, so come out, spend some time, whether you have five minutes or five hours, come out and give some time to the Emerald Coast Honor Games. And I'm calling out uh, sponsors to join us for the Emerald Coast Honor Games. We need $100,000 to help our first responders and their families. The funds that we raise from this are gonna go a long way to help them and all the other organizations that come together in this. To support four charities, the Sheriff's Office Star Charities, Healing Paws for Warriors, Combat Control Association and the Special Forces Association. We're all gonna split the proceeds to help those who are defending our front line. So I say come on out, join the fun and sponsor us. We're gonna have really cool swag, really cool guests, really cool speakers and just all kinds of fun people. So again, um, November 11th, come out, enjoy the day and be a part of a, a, a group in the community standing up to say thank you to our veterans and our first responders.